Hello and welcome to Casa Siga Moves. I'm Karina. I'm going to be your guide today. <coughs> Excuse me. So today we are going to be working on a morning flow. It's going to be short, it's going to be quick, and it's going to get the major body parts that we kind of need open once you again have just woken up or maybe you are traveling and you're just feeling tight in all sorts of areas and i wanted to dedicate this first flow to one of my dear friends sean he has been um one of my most loyal friends one of my most consistent students over the past i don't know over a year and a half and he has been requesting a morning flow for quite some time so this idea was already sort of taking that um, first step but this is definitely a push in the right direction so I'm going to stop talking and I want to get us moving here so let's come into a forward fold so already your feet are going to come hip width distance your ten toes are pointing forward just going to do a little chime check perfect you're going to reach the arms up overhead taking a big inhalation maybe you press your hips forward and do a little shimmy here and as you exhale you're going to take a big swan dive so the arms are going to open out to a t and when the hands reach the ground if they reach the ground you're going to drive the chin in towards your chest you're going to start to trace your hands along the legs as you roll up, allowing the arms to be the second heaviest part of the body here right now. So they trace along the shin bones and the knees and then the quads. And when you make it up to standing, you're going to take one shoulder shrug up to the ears and then down the back. Take the arms up overhead once again. Big breath through the nose. Palms together above you in prayer. Bring them through heart center. Forward fold. Bend the knees on the way down. When the hands reach the ground, you tuck the chin in. Slowly roll it up, tracing the fingertips along your legs, allowing the arms to feel heavy here. Taking a shoulder shrug at the top, bring it in. And exhale, pulling shoulder blades down. One more time, we're going to stay lifted this time. Inhale, reach the arms up above you. Exhale, bring the hands through heart center, forward fold, undulate through the spine here. When the hands reach the ground, you're going to move the head in a no motion. So no. And then if your hands don't reach the ground, I want you to bring your forearms on top of the thighs and just let the head hang here for a moment. Drop the head, chin to chest, arms extended to the top of the space or the top of your mat. Take a halfway lift, flat back, reset. Plant the hands, stepping it through a high plank, but immediately dropping your knees down to the ground, coming onto your sit bones, crossing one leg in front of the other. And I always like to say, bring the awkward leg on top. So for me, my awkward leg is my right leg. It's my less dominant leg or my less dominant hip. So it's going to feel a little bit weird and awkward. And know that that's the intention. Gather the arms up above you. Big inhale breath. Side body stretch towards the left side, opening your right side body. Right bicep reaching by the right ear. Now extend your right fingertips towards the front of your space. Then towards the right, arm moves up overhead exactly the way that it came. Do one more of those circles where you reach forward to the side, up and over. Breathe in with me. Breathe out. Arms are going to reach up to the ceiling. Full inhale. Side body stretch towards the right side. Good. Reaching towards the top of the space. Arm out into a T. Up overhead, one more circle. Feels so good to be here. Bicep reaching up and over. Take a breath in. Stay the exhale out. We'll take a twist. Inhale, grow tall. Sit bones are rooted onto the mat. Exhale, twist towards your left side. The right hand is either going to land on your thigh or the knee, using the back arm as a kickstand. Growing tall, breathing in. Exhale, big twist. Exhale it out. Last one through the nose. Breathe it out. On 
unwind yourself, but keep the right hand exactly where it is. So just unwind the shoulders, bring the left arm up and over and start to cross the hand towards the opposite thigh. Drop the chin in towards the chest here. Lean back like you're protracting the shoulder blades. You're pulling them apart away from each other. And slowly unravel the arms, come up to a seat. Arms are gonna reach up overhead. Big twist towards your right side. Left hand on top of the knee or the thigh, using your back arm as a kickstand, tenting the fingertips behind you. Take a deep breath through the nose. Exhale, big breath, and deepen the stretch. One more through the nose. Exhale, big twist. Take yourself to unwind. Keep the hand exactly where it is. You're gonna cross the right arm on top of the left, catching the left knee. Drop the chin into the chest, lean back. Think you're gonna take a little shimmy in this back space. And then unravel the arms and come high, tall, into a seat. Big inhale through the nose, gather the arms up above you, just waking up and releasing the hands onto the knees, taking a seated cow pose. Inhale, breath, puff the chest forward, arch the back, open the throat. Exhale, breath, drawing the chin into the chest, round and curl, lean back. Puff the chest forward, inhale, breath, seated cow pose. Open the heart. Exhale, round and curl, chin to chest. Take it back. Give me one more like that. Inhale, seated cow pose. Breathe it in. Exhale, round, curl, chin to chest. Lean back, hold. Stack the head on top of the shoulders. Take a moment. When you're ready, come through all fours in the middle of your mat. Coming through all fours. You're going to open into our hippies, so most of us have pretty tight hips. Separate your knees at least two fists or at least hip width distance. Settle the hands onto the mat. Tuck your toes. Sit bones back towards the heels into an active extended child's pose. And then pull yourself into a modified up dog. As I shift my hips forward, I untuck my toes, but know that they can stay tucked if that feels best for you. Sit bones back towards the heels as I shift my hips back. I tuck my toes under. This is an exhale. Inhale, breath pulls us forward. Option to keep your toes tucked, engaging the transverse abdominals early on in the day. I know. Sit bones back, exhale. Let's take two more. Inhale, pull forward. Exhale, back. And do that one more time. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Untuck the toes. Heading into an extended child's pose variation. Passive extended child's where the elbows soften down to the mat. The forehead is on the earth. And you're just allowing yourself to release and let go. Again, waking up nice and easy. First time coming into this big hip opener. Big shoulder opener. Let it go. I'll take a thread needle with the upper body. So the left arm is going to thread it through the right. You're going to drop the left ear and the head to the earth. If some of you are slightly more lifted, you could create a fist with the right hand and then just prop your head up here. Otherwise, know that you could have that right arm extended. You could hold here. Or you can take it through a half bind, swooping this right arm behind you. The palm is facing down towards the ground. And you're going to set the hand onto your low back or the outer part of the left hip. Take a deep breath through the nose. Breathe it out. One more through the nose. Breathe it out. Extending your right arm forward. Unthread the left, thread the right arm through, dropping the head, dropping your right ear. Taking a few moments just to breathe and be. If the left arm extended overhead feels best, keep it there. Otherwise, remember you could create a fist on this side and prop up your temple on the right side. Or you could swoop this left arm behind, palm faces down. It's going to be toughest for all of us. 
and releasing the hand either to your low back, the sacrum right here, or the outer part of the right hip. Again, there's external rotation here in the shoulders as we're pulling the delts back in space. Last breath. Breathe out. Release the bind if you took it. Unthread the arm. Shift your body through a neutral tabletop position. And then come onto a seat. Bring your legs out from underneath you or from behind you, wherever your legs might be in space. We're going to come into a reverse tabletop position. So bring the hands behind you. The fingertips are pointing forward. My feet are parallel and the toes are also pointing forward. So everything's pointing forward. When you're ready on an inhale breath, let's lift the pelvis off the ground, coming into a reverse tabletop position. You can have a bend into your elbows. No need to lock them out. Stay here for an exhale. Big inhale breath through the nose. Lift a little higher. Exhale, you're going to lower the sit bones to the ground, to the mat. Come right back up. Inhale, breath, reverse tabletop position. Exhale, breath, lower yourself down to the mat, pressing into the four corners of your feet. Two more times. Lift, rise. You can start to open through the throat. Exhale, tap the booty down. One more time. Inhale, press, lift, hold, release the booty down to the mat. Good, really nice. Extend the legs in front of you this time. Flexing through the feet, so making sure that the toes are facing the ceiling. Notice the bend that I have in my knees here. I'm gonna grab the hamstrings or anywhere in the legs that's accessible. I'm gonna pull my shoulders down, heart to the sky, breathe in. I'm gonna try to make contact, my belly to the thighs and then my upper body creating this pancake shape against my low body. Now, if you have more flexibility in the legs and can start to walk the legs slightly forward, then do so. Keep flexing the toes back to the face. If you want to grab the toes and pull them back, great. I want you to make sure that the feet remain parallel no matter what. I kind of jam with grabbing the knife edges of my feet. Knife edge is the pinky toe side of that foot. Two spine undulations. Look forward at the legs, the top of the mat. Breathe in. Exhale, melting the upper body over the low body. Let the head go. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, melting the body nice and slow. Pull the chin into the chest and then roll yourself up into a seat nice and slow. Again, your eyes are the last things to look up. Bend into your right knee, cross. You could stay here, actually. Otherwise, you could cross the right foot over the left leg. Now, what tends to happen for most of us is that we'll start to lift through that big right toe because we can't stay rooted. So that's your challenge here. Ground through that big right toe. We're going to take a backstroke with our right arm. This arm is our kickstand, the one behind us. The left arm is going to reach to the sky. You're going to reach the arm parallel to the ground, imagining like it's parallel even to your leg perhaps, and then tilt, or rather extend forward, bringing your chest closer to your thigh. You're going to give yourself a big hug here and encourage a twist on the right side. Ground the sit bones into the earth. Breathe it in. Exhale, look at the back wall over the right shoulder. One more through the nose here. Stay the breath out. Unwind yourself. Keep the legs as they are. Bend into your left knee, coming into a seated figure four. For a lot of us, it's nearly impossible to get our right knee to point out towards the right side of the space. So you're just going to stay right here. What I need you to work on is this external rotation in the right hip. This feels good. You're going to stay. Otherwise, you're going to rock the body. Rock your baby side to side, asking the low body to loosen up in a way. And again, if you're in that passive or if you're in stillness, know that there's a lot happening. Meet yourself where you're at. Notice the sensation. 
and then bring the legs through stillness. Walk your hands a little closer towards the body. Flex your right foot, shoulders are down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one through the nose. Breathe out. Good. Unwrap yourself, unravel. Give the legs a little shimmy. And then same thing, other side, bending into your left leg. You could stay right here or you can cross the left foot <clears throat> over the right knee. You are gonna really ground through that left toe. Don't let it lift up. Don't let the foot or the heel of the foot lift either. You want your left knee pointing up. <clears throat> foot flat on the ground, taking a big back stroke with the left arm, sorry Norman, behind you. Taking the right arm to the sky. Bring it parallel to the earth directly out of the shoulder. Bring the body towards the thigh. Give yourself that big hug. Sit a little bit taller. Breathe in through the nose. Big exhale out. Ground the sit bones into the earth. Check in with that big left toe. Looking over towards the back of the space. Last breath. Ah, twist. Unwind, unravel, square yourself towards the front of your mat, bend into your right knee, so the foot on the ground, flexing onto the left foot. You're either going to stay right here in stillness or you're going to rock the baby side to side. I can always get my low back somewhere, somewhere in my lumbar to pop. I'm not encourage that, encouraging that by any means, it's just what feels really good to me. Remember that you can simply be in stillness, just experiencing this big outer hip opening. Bring it to center. Stillness, can you sit a little bit taller? Flexing through that foot. Breathe in. Breathe out. And press. Take your time, scoot yourself towards the top of the space, and I'm actually going to face the opposite direction, so towards the top of the space, and then wind yourself, vertebrae by vertebrae, the neck, or shoulders, neck, and head are the last things to make it down, guide your knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze, and then coming into a, a um, supine figure four stretch, crossing the right ankle, over the left thigh. You're either going to stay there or you're going to start to build layers. Stay or guide the knees into the chest. Stay or weave the hands through, catching the opposite hamstring. On this side, it's your hands reaching for the left hamstring. You could stay or you can send your left leg towards the ceiling. Sometimes it feels good to hold the hamstring. Sometimes it feels good to reach higher up just so that you can have more leverage here. Open the elbows wide. Now for some of us, the tailbone starts to lift off the mat. If that's you, encourage it to lengthen down to the earth. Take a breath. And an exhale. Back off with the legs if you took the extended version. If you're still in this figure four stretch or even here, you're going to keep crossing your knees. So the right knee is going to cross on top of the left. You're going to reach for what's accessible. It could be your heels. It could be the top of the shin bones. It could be the knees. Take a deep breath. Lengthen through the tailbone. Exhale. Breathe it out. <laughs> Take a deep breath through the nose. Exhale, breathe it out. I live in a circus house. Breathe in. Breathe out. Uncross, recross. Opposite side, left ankle, right thigh. You're going to stay. This is your first layer, or you're going to guide the knees in towards your chest. You're going to hold here. You can reach for the right hammy. Or you can take your right heel towards the ceiling, either holding here or reaching behind that leg. Take a deep breath through the nose. Deep breath through the mouth. Lengthen the tailbone, big inhale. Breathe it out. Last inhale through the nose. 
Guide that leg a little closer to the body. Breathe out. Recline cow face legs, crossing the left knee on top of the right. You could hold here. Maybe you're like, this is me. This is what I'm jamming with in the morning. Awesome. Stay there. Otherwise, reach for the heels, the ankles. Sometimes I like to underhand it here. When I underhand it, I ensure that my knees, or rather my ankles, are on the same plane to the right and to the left. Lengthen that tailbone, final breath in. Breathe it out. Uncross. Unravel. Guide your knees into the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze, a moment of gratitude for taking time out of your day to spend it with yourself. Filling up your cup, your energetic cup. Let's get tiny into a small ball. Coming into a supine ball position. Hold and breathe for three. Just two. Extending into your final resting pose, Savasana, or a dead corpse pose. Taking as much space as you'd like, as feels comfortable. If you need to scoot up or down on the mat. There are any variations of Savasana that you know you love, taking that here. Again, just arriving into a place of rest. A place where you can take a moment, a moment of introspection to see the differences that you might feel from when we started to now. Notice the opening, the openness along the muscles, along your spine, perhaps even how expansive you might feel in your energetic body, how more relaxed you might feel in your mental space. Always remembering that we can take this feeling to the rest of our day, the rest of our to-dos. Just a moment to surrender and be. Start reawakening the body in an organic movement, something that feels really delicious to you and it does not have to be the same as what I'm doing, but you could take the arms up overhead if they weren't there. You can flex and point through your feet or circle the wrists and the ankles, reawakening through the joints. Whatever circles you take, always remembering to reverse them. <sighs> Knees into the chest, take the legs back towards your head and then forward into one big rock and roll, coming into a seat. Crossing the legs one on top of the other. Maybe you try to cross that funky leg on top. Mine's my right. But again, just coming into an easy seat, gathering the hands in a heart center, spending a moment of gratitude for the time that we've spent together and the sacred practice. Thank you so much for joining me on your mat. Cannot wait to see you again. See you, feel you energetically through the camera, <laughs> through YouTube. Let's bow the chin into the chest as a gesture of gratitude for the time we've spent together and the sacred practice. May you go with ease and peace. We bow. Thank you.